Lead Head Brigade. Welcome back to the Talking Lead Podcast. This is episode 226. Hope you guys caught the last episode where we talked about nickel boron coated 6.5 Creedmoor rifles, titanium armor, believe it or not, and uh, we did our famous Four Richards interview. Uh, funny, funny, funny show. Hope you guys caught that last episode. A uh, lot of good information there. We had a WMD guns on talking about their 6.5 Creedmoor and their nickel boron coating process that they do there. And uh, we had a survivalist on, Todd Jaderberg. I think I said his name right, uh, with Odin's Wolf Survival. And uh, he was giving us some interesting information on some of the things that uh, he makes, such as a body armor that he's working on right now. Uh, not your typical body armor, but uh, kind of like medieval type body armor um, that's made of titanium. Pretty cool stuff. So I uh, hope you guys are getting ready for Christmas. I know it's approaching soon, and uh, we've given you guys all kinds of awesome deals and discounts out there with affiliates of the show, friends of the show, sponsors of the show. Uh, they are still running those till the end of the year. A lot of those companies are, and they're offering even better deals, some of them, than uh, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I know right on, R-I-T-O-N, right on USA, the official optics of Talking Lead had a 50% off everything on their website uh, this past weekend. So uh, we were posting that on social media to let you guys know about that and hope you guys took advantage of that deal and uh, got some of their awesome optics, high quality, using the Japanese glass there at Right On. American-owned company based out of Arizona. They've got red dots. They've got binoculars. They've got rifle scopes, uh, all kinds of different price ranges. So make sure you go to rightonusa.com, check them out. And if you weren't able to take advantage of the discounts that they were running this past weekend, uh, you can always use that Leadhead discount code. So speaking of Christmas, just want to give you guys a little, uh, little heads up here. I'm going to be trying to drop at least two to three more shows before the, the beginning of the new year. Got another one lined up after this, and I know we've got an interview coming up with Jacob Herman of Night Fission Precision Tritium. They do night sights uh, for your handguns. You guys are probably familiar with Jacob. He's been on the show before when he was with Century Arms, and uh, it's always a good interview with Jacob, so we're looking forward to that. And then I've got a couple of more interviews lined up that hopefully we can get those done and to you guys over the holidays so you will have plenty of lead to talk about over your Christmas dinners. Getting geared up for SHOT Show. That's coming up the end of January. And as you guys have heard me say in other previous episodes, we're going to be at the Caltech booth. Caltech will be the official lead quarters for the 2018 SHOT Show. And if you any of you guys are going to be out there during SHOT Show, make sure you come by the Caltech booth, say hey to us. Hopefully, we're going to have those Leadhead Brigade shirts ready by then. From 1776 United, I know James is working on getting those released, and uh, they were offering a discount during Black Friday, Cyber Monday. If you guys went ahead and signed up for the in-stock email notifications um, they had available, all you had to do was go and click on it, and it would have a little pop-up, and you could put your email address, and they're going to notify you when those are in stock, and uh, you were able to get a discount if you went ahead and did that during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So we're excited to get those, and hopefully he's going to have some patches as well. Those will be coming soon after the t-shirts. So we're going to have the Leadhead Brigade shirts and patches by, hopefully by SHOT Show. Crossing our fingers that we'll get both. I'm pretty sure we're going to have the shirts, though. So this week, we're going to continue, yep, still, still cranking out our interviews from the Big Three East. We're going to call this our tactical episode because the companies that we've got on this week all have tactical in their names. We've got Kevin Phillips. He's the vice president of SGM Tactical, and uh, they're based out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Another company up there in Knoxville that's on the show is Tactical Kinetics. So I'm getting some homegrown folks on this interview, and uh, those guys make barrels. They do OEM barrels. And they're going to talk about a new carbon fiber barrel that they're working on. And then we get Tactical RX, Brett Hunter with Tactical RX. They are the makers of the iPro that uh, you guys can get. And uh, they do prescription iPro. So I think probably one of the only optics companies out there that are doing it specifically for the shooting industry. 
And uh, Brett is on to talk about some new designs that they have from Tactical RX. So before we get into the show, I'd like to go ahead and thank uh, our sponsors. Of course, we talked about Right On, the official optics of Talking Lead, Right On USA, R I T O N. And uh, you guys can go to their website. And if they're not still running that deal 50% off, which he said they're only going to do it through the weekend, go check them out. If not, then you can use that uh, Leadhead discount code. X Steel Targets. X Steel Targets. The best, most affordable AR500 steel targets on the market today, X Steel Targets. And uh, if you guys haven't visited X Steel Targets, you need to go check them out. They have a wide variety of American-made AR-500 steel targets. They just so happen to be America's number one steel target manufacturer of the AR-500 steel targets. They've got targets for competition, your IPSIG, your three-gun, steel challenges, cowboy action. They've got those cool Texas stars. They've got the dueling trees. They've even got uh, harvest targets made out of AR-500 steel. So go check them out, xsteeltargets.com. And uh, again, use that discount code LEADHEAD when you uh, check out and get a nice discount from X Steel Targets. Modern Spartan Systems, check them out at modernspartansystems.com. They've got your gun oils, greases, cleaners, carbon destroyers. They've even got stuff for your glass. So when you get your ride on optics, you can get some of their glass cleaning products specifically for cleaning optics. And then uh, they also get into your vehicle. They've got a TVT engine oil additive that I've been using for a while now. Uh, I think I'm probably over 313,000 miles and still kicking with the old lead sled. It's a 97 Yukon and I've probably been using their product for close to two years. And uh, I have to admit that it probably has extended the life of the old lead sled. So I'm going to continue to feed her the old TVT and keep her going until the wheels fall off. And then I'll probably put new ones on. High Threat Concealment, HTC. Check them out at highthreatconcealment.com. They're a small business that specializes in the development of concealable tactical gear for armed professionals looking to limit their visibility. Uh, they also make some awesome products for the civilian market. Uh, for those of you who want to carry and uh, not profile, they've got the products for you. They've got holsters for your guns, pretty much any type of gun that you've got, uh, especially if you've got them with uh, a light system on there. They specifically did one for my new Gen 5 Glock with the uh, Enforce light on it and uh, fits perfect perfect fit magazines radios m4 mag stackers they've got the belts as well they've got a really nice belt system that uh, you can implement in with your holster ensemble and they are even getting into products for your canine in collars and leashes really durable comfortable products for your canine so you guys be sure go check out high threat concealment htc at highthreatconcealment.com and yes use the discount code leadhead that also applies for modern spartan systems it's l-e-a-d-h-e-a-d and you're going to get a nice little leadhead brigade discount glock the official carry of lefty of talking lead that is me and uh, i am rocking the gen 5 g19 right now guys uh, heard me talk about the g23 i've been carrying it for many many years now and uh, since they've released the gen 5 19 i've switched over to the 9 millimeter and i'm absolutely loving my gen 5 g19 but dot 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 i went down to smyrna georgia recently for some more good news and that's all i can talk about right now but hopefully that will be one of the the shows that i release before the end of the year and then of course they've got the awesome swag store their apparel store at us.glock.com you guys can go there and check out their cool jackets and hats and they've got gloves they've got all kinds of cool stuff all kinds of lifestyle products with the Glock logo on there. So you guys can check that out at us.glock.com. Frontier Tactical, makers of the Warlock multi-caliber adapter system. And they also make their own line of AR-15s. Check them out at frontiertactical.com. With their Warlock system, it allows you to shoot up to and over 100, I think there's 100 different calibers at least now that you can shoot from the AR-15 platform. And with their adapter system, you're able to configure your AR-15 to shoot them all. 
from one platform. So check them out at FrontierTactical.com. And one of Talking Lead's newest sponsors, VanQuest. VanQuest Gear. Check them out. VanQuest.com. VanQuest is cranking out some awesome bags, backpacks, gun bags, and accessories. They've got these uh, cool maximizer organizers, uh, stuff for your medical and first aid kits. Uh, They've got these cool modular pouches and pockets. And they're equipped with the cool molly so that you can attach uh, different pouches to different bags and different bags to other bags. And uh, you can kind of build upon one platform and make a personalized bag for all your kit. So whether it's a bug out bag, it's a medical kit, uh, just a traveling bag, overnight bag, something like that. They've got uh, some really cool gear. So check them out at VanQuest.com. So make sure you guys go and support those that support the show. And uh, if you do order from them, again, try the uh, discount code LEADHEAD. should work at most of these places. I don't think VanQuest is set up with the uh, discount code yet. Uh, but like I said, they've been running some deals uh, throughout the end of the year anyway. So uh, you'll probably find a good deal there. And just let them know that you're a LEADHEAD. Let them know that you heard about them from the Talking Lead Show. We greatly appreciate that. And as you guys are listening to us on iTunes or Stitcher, iHeartRadio, uh, YouTube, we even post our show to YouTube, and then we link up on our social medias from Facebook and um, Instagram as well. Just uh, give us some feedback on those platforms that you listen to us from. Uh, most of them have rating systems where you can rate us, rate the show. Uh, you can share it with friends and family. So if you've got somebody you think might enjoy the show, we greatly appreciate you uh, pushing it on out there because I'm sure if you enjoy the show, they will too. All right, guys, enough with the pre-show. Let's go ahead and roll into this week's tactical episode. Five, four, three, two. Not with headphones. And yeah. Not with Marty. So. We've, have we not ever done one? No. no. We've no. always talked on the side and just chilled and been cool with each other. So, Well, be damn. We're going to fix that right now. All right. By golly. By gosh, by gum, by golly. So, I have had some interesting off uh, off subject stories before. So. I I won't go there. Yeah. I've got a few. If you were to listen to my database, you missed yesterday when Q almost choked me out. Oh yeah, yeah. Did yeah, you piss him off, or was you just like demonstrating the proper way to? We, we it wasn't the proper all this time. <laughs> it wasn't the proper way. It wasn't the proper way. No, he, it's he, Q's he, way. Yeah, he, stuff was set. So I do these, which you may know, uh, applewood smoke sriracha nuts. That all the riders want. I know it sounds crazy. More nuts. Mixed nuts. nuts. You got hot nuts? Hot nuts in your mouth. And (laughs) and basically, that's the running joke on Facebook and YouTube and all the social media is, hey, I'm coming to the event. Are you you coming? I'm like, yeah, sure. Well, you're going to bring the nuts. Yeah. Okay, good. I want them in my mouth. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So Q said something yesterday. And And this uh, is going in the show, so keep going. That's fine. This is a good story. Uh, Yeah. So... uh, he said something, and I, I said something else, and it went into it turned into yeah. I said yeah in your mouth, <laughs> and so we joke around like this all the time. It goes back to like dealer shows for distributors. Oh yeah. And so he reached around and he sort of plugged me in the chest, and I turn around and before I could turn around, he already had his left arm around my neck, and I find myself wrist fighting because he's got me in an R and C, <laughs> and I'm like holy crap, what's going on here? <laughs> and he lifts me off the ground. Now. I'm only like 5'10", and Q's, what, 6'3", 6'4"? He's a big boy. He's he's a big dude. He's a big boy. So he picks me up, and I'm like, okay, that's not that bad. And then all of a sudden, he just starts squeezing. And I'm like, holy (laughs) shit. My eyes are watering. My eyes are watering, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to black out. Holy shit. He's actually, for real. (laughs) And he's trapped my right arm. Yeah. And other people are like, hey, you need to wrist fight. I'm like... Fuck. And I couldn't talk. I'm like, fuck, I am. I'm saying that to myself. <laughs> fuck, I am fighting. You know? And so I'm like, you know, trying to get my wrist free. And I finally get it free. And I'm like, don't choke me out. <laughs> I mean, that's literally, I was like, don't choke me out. Please stop. Like, like, Please stop. And he sets me down. I'm like, fuck, man, what did you do? And he's like, well, we're just playing around. I'm like, yeah, but damn, I was like 30 seconds from being unconscious. <laughs> And Daryl's over there, hey, you need some help, buddy? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, now that I'm done. Can I get you a water? Yeah. I'm like, God. So later, about 15 minutes later, I go back out, and he's standing there, and we're chit-chatting again. He goes, he goes yeah, that, that was weird. And I'm like, dude, if you're going to put me in RNC, you're supposed to squeeze from the side, so you're like, you know, just cutting off the blood flow, not crush my Adam's apple. And he goes, I was just trying to pick you up. And I'm like, 
buy my fucking Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and I'm like, you know, so he's like, oh man, I'm so sorry, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, it's okay. I'll get you. I'll get yeah. you. And it was yeah. payback from a Hicks show, a previous story where, you know, we go back That's and forth funny. and he's like, you know, I'm going to whip your ass. I'm going to choke you out. And I'm like, dude, you're supposed to win. Look at you. Right. You're ex-military. Yeah. I make magazines. You know, I, <laughs> Professional I, I bodyguard. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, dude, you, you protect Alex Jones. You know, I, I have nothing. Yeah. You know? I said, but what if I do win? And he's like, <laughs> and you're fired. And he's like, he looks at me. I'm like, no, seriously. What if I get you? He like never even thought of it. That yeah, was like, never an option. I'm like, change. what if I get you in a triangle choke? And we're on the ground. We're rolling. I get you in a triangle and I pull your head down and go, you can just kiss it while you're there. <laughs> and dude, he got pissed. He's like, motherfucker. And CJ's there. And he's like, and he's like, Q, don't be a bitch. Where are you going? And he just started. So that was probably payback for that a couple of years while ago. while back. Okay. Yeah. I got you. So that's the model two stories I've got. So that's a great story to start <laughs> off this uh, this line of interviews that, we, uh, that we're having here. The Big Three East Autumn Edition. We can't call it fall no. because that's uh, – it's – Insensitive. I think we should call it the Big Three East Monsoon Edition. The Monsoon, monsoon Edition, yeah. 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 It's well, raining. Last year was the Hurricane Edition. Right. Yes. Sure. I was here for like three hours and then drove back for nine. Yeah, last year? Yeah. Yeah. Or was it this year in March? Which one it was, was last it? Which year? No, it was the last year. Last year, okay. Yeah, because yeah. instead of dealing with all the traffic of getting out of here, yeah. I just cut over across to Tampa, and I've stayed at uh, Nate's. Oh, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I had to rent a car and just drive back to Knoxville. So it, there that, you was, go. that was great. That was great. Yeah, fun times. But uh, that gives us more opportunities to do interviews when it's monsoony like this. And I get to talk to great companies like you guys. Oh, thank you. So this is also the uh, tactical edition of Talking Lead. So joining us today, and you're not Daryl. You're Daryl. Yep. Daryl's not on the mic. Jeff Kaplan. With Tactical Kinetics, TK, right? Correct. Will that work? That works. Perfect. Out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Yes, got sir. Got some homeboys here with me. Yep. And then we've also got Kevin Phillips, who just uh, enlightened us with the uh, Q story. Yes. Don't kill me, And you are with SGM Tactical. Correct. Right. This is true. And this is their first time on the show. Yes. And we've got a returning guest. Yes. Uh, it's been, what, was it last year or year before last? A uh, year and a half ago. About a year and a half ago. We've got Tactical RX. We've got Mr. Brett Hunter, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people can't quote see my glasses because they can't you know. see them. But <laughs> they're the mad scientist looking. Here's what they can do, Brett. They can, as we're talking, because a lot of people are sitting in front of their computers or they've yep. got smartphones, they can go ahead and look up your website, tacticalrx.com. Correct. And look at the stuff that we're going to be talking about, right? You have it Perfect. posted on there. Yeah, we have a new website launching in about a month, too. So okay. It's, it's a pretty good one now. It'll be so by the time great, I get this show one. out, it'll probably be released then. So. <laughs> nice. The magic of radio. And then uh, Kevin's website is, what's your website? Uh, SGMTactical.com. SGMTactical.com. And then your Tactical Kinetics. TacticalKinetics.com. And right. you guys make it easy. We do. So as we're talking about each of their uh, their products and their services here, you guys look them up and you can visually see what we're talking about. So where do we want to start? Let's start over here with Tactical Connects. No offense, Brent. Oh, none taken. But you got a lot of stuff to talk. They got some new products. I want to I want to want to talk about those. So. You're you're wearing them. I I well I've got them on my head right now. Yeah. Yep. yep. They're on my my noggin. So Daryl and Jeff, Daryl White over here. He's going to be the silent guy. Uh, silent partner, I guess, today. That's tough for him. That's tough for him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks worn out. It looks like you may have kept him out a little bit too late last night. That was Kevin's fault. Is that, is my, that you? We'll, we'll, Sorry, we'll, blame it, we'll blame it on Kevin. Well, he's a good scapegoat. Anyway. Yeah. So tell us about Tactical Kinetics. We're a uh, manufacturer, and we're going through a rebrand. We're still mm-hmm. Tactical Kinetics, but we're... Featuring some shirts to say the barrel guys on them. I we, see that. You're wearing one right now, the barrel guys. We are manufacturing gun barrels in Knoxville, Tennessee, from a 5-inch Glock barrel all the way up to a 26-inch Creedmoor. Okay. So we're making those right in Knoxville, doing some testing down there, having a good time doing it. Very nice. So now are you making these for a specific company? or We're making them for, for several the OEMs. End user. Yeah. No, we... we Build uh, your own kind of... We're a business-to-business... Okay. So we're we're trying to work with the OEMs, different OEMs, to uh, produce that product for them. Okay. So tell us what sets your barrels apart from 
The other guys are making barrels. Huh? The well, other barrel guys. The, the other barrel guys. Well, we're we're primarily focusing on barrels only or small round parts similar to a barrel. So we're we're concentrating on that, spending our engineering efforts to manufacture good product and our background is we have a variety of machining backgrounds aerospace energy manufacturing gears so we're taking what we know from our other industries previous life previous yeah. life previous uh production processes and putting those into the the gun market we we have a quality system that we're focused on you know trying to be an ISO compliant company to mm-hmm. make a, a great product for our customers. And I think what our customers would distinguish us differently from our competitors is just our customer service that, you know, if you have a problem, we're going to be there the next day to diagnose it and try and fix it. Very cool. And you guys are at a Knoxville, Tennessee. We are. And how long have you been in business? We've been in business for 10 years. 10 whole years. 10 years. So you guys have been around for a while. It was 10 have you been years. doing barrels for 10 years? No, we've been doing the, the firearms manufacturing for about two years. Okay. Prior to that, it was more cutting tool related and manufacturing parts for gas turbine processes. Okay. Very cool. Right. What's a gas so you're a bunch of eggheads. Process? We are. So are you like engineers? We're the barrel geeks. <laughs> Instead of the barrel the, guys, we should have been the barrel geeks. geeks. Well, you can still do that, too. We can't keep changing it. We just have to, <laughs> we're focusing on the barrels. You can still do it. Yeah, but yeah, we're, we we're an happen. engineering company, engineering and design. Okay. So one of the guys that now are you Are there plans to do more than just barrels? Uh, we, we're doing several components, but our, our primary focus is to manufacture barrels. I see you've barrels. got one in your hand right now. I do. I, have I a, like to have show and tell, man. That, that's it. Yep. That. We have several barrels in our pocket. Okay. So those are Glock. So that was a barrel in your pocket. You weren't just glad to see me. <laughs> that is correct. All right. So uh, let's talk about the the one I'm holding now. That is a Glock 17 barrel. Glock 17. It's threaded. We're uh, making those for a, an OEM that might be sitting at this table for with us. May or may not be. May or may not be. Okay. So we're, we're manufacturing that. Um, Kevin came to us actually with the project to manufacture Glock barrels probably three months ago, and we're production ready in three months to to manu- about twelve weeks. It took us from the time Kevin asked us about the project to the time we were delivering production samples to him. So what uh, what have you done differently on your Glock barrels? Well, we're they're all made in. In the USA, it's made in the USA. Made in the USA product. It's four sixteen R stainless. It's made. Um, they're they're rifled. Then we're we're cutting up rifled blanks and turning them into uh, Glock barrels. Okay, so. German steel. Nice German steel. Getting it from Germany. The steel. German steel. The, the steel's coming from Germany, and then we've got several. What if it came from, um, let's say. Ireland, could you still call it a Glock barrel? We could, but as, as long as it came with the bullet, but but, but, but Glock the metals from Germany, you got to call it a Glock. Well, well, Glock is Austrian. Well, are they, they Austrian? are. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's true. true. So, yeah. all right, starting with that. The, the steel, mind. the steel's coming from Europe. <laughs> this feels so. They're these the same steel. They're, they're the okay. same steel. They're identical barrels, um, different coatings. So yeah. you, you've got a in one of your hands there. You've got that the uh tin coated that's a cutting tool coating tin titanium mm-hmm. nitride coating and that's the the gold color and then the the black one is a just a plain black nitride coating nitride yep are there other coatings that you do uh we we do just a raw barrel which is the stainless steel without the uh without the coating on it but we're primarily focused on the the nitride coating okay very cool. And what uh, are these? So you're just selling business to business is what you said. So We're selling these They would go to, to a company, oh, I don't know, like uh, SGM? Correct. And uh, be able to purchase these? Yes. Okay. So uh, they make the barrels for us, the uh, private label them, and then we sell them to uh, distributors in the U.S. And gotcha. let them handle distribution to uh, retailers and consumers. Okay. What's the MSRP? 
Uh, they're going to start probably around ninety nine dollars and go up to about probably one fifty, one sixty, depending on the coating. Okay. Um, with a lifetime warranty, the, the the reason I'm so impressed with these guys, they're only about three miles down the road from us, and in so I can in, in Knoxville, so I can drive down there Good and check up on them. Rocky, Rocky Top. Top. That's right, Rocky Walls. Top, Tennessee. Just don't go to Georgia again. Do you like that? Oh, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I did that just for you. <clears throat> So basically, the, the thing that impressed me the most about them was looking at their other barrels, their AR barrels, and some of the muzzle brakes they make. So during the summer, when I knew it was going to be very slow, I had them redesign all of their metal products that we already had. So we had uh, muzzle brakes for shotguns, for uh, Vepper shotguns and uh, Saga shotguns. Right. And uh, receiver inserts. Oh, there's some of their uh, AR barrels. Okay. So uh, the cool part is it's a 1 in 10... Uh, Twist, twist in the in the barrel on the Glock barrels, and uh, I think six screw, six right hand grooves. Is that correct? Yes, uh, sir. And uh, you know, it's it's just a flawless product. They're they're very accurate, and um, and the price point is is really well. Yeah. So really I'm holding good. a 308 right now. This would be the heavy barrel. Do you guys do light barrels? We do light contour barrels as well. Okay. Very sure. nice. Yeah. So we're so we've got a, a good range from that small five inch barrel up to the the 24 30, 24 inch 308 barrel that we're just handing around the table now six five grindle barrels that uh wolf's using on their uppers yeah six five grindle that's uh and six five creedmoor and six five creedmoor they those are too. becoming more and more seem popular seems mm-hmm. like i'm hearing more and more about them six five grindle six five creedmoor um wolf announced at the show this week that they're doing the nine by 39 so we are right manufacturing barrels for the for wolf for the nine by 39 we're also we just yeah, started they, they developed around that there was no barrel yeah. <laughs> no, no barrels in the country right yeah yeah, yeah. right so so well, we let's make a bullet that nobody can shoot yeah and it costs a dollar around it cost a dollar around yeah <laughs> we chambered it, we, so chambered it. We, we did we we made the chambering tools we uh well, those those rounds we were told if we put them on Gun Broker right now, we could get about a hundred dollars around for those. I grabbed every box I could. Really? So we we actually have several of those boxes in our warehouse. So I'm thinking about <laughs> going back and putting those paying on some g- bills. That could fund our next project. <laughs> yeah, that, that's going to fund our trip to uh, down here to uh, the big the big, big three. three east. <laughs> yeah, we're we're working on some carbon fiber. Barrels. Oh, nice. Okay. Knoxville being the the composite corridor, we've uh, spent I did some, not realize that. Spent yeah. some time developing, working with some guys that uh, have spent time at ORNL at Oak Ridge National Labs, and mm-hmm. we're working with them to uh, develop a carbon fiber barrel that will work at higher temperatures. Most of the carbon fiber barrels out there right now are on precision rifles, so you're not. You're not putting one or two rounds through them, and you're not heating those barrels up. So we're yeah. looking at um, making a barrel that can withstand some higher heat. More, where, f- yeah. more full auto type? No, you're, you're not going to want to do mag dumps through this, but okay. you can, you know, you shoot 10 rounds through it, and you'll be okay. One or two is not yeah. going to be a problem suppress at Suppress shooting. Suppress shooting, yeah. correct. Cool. Which goes back to that 9 by 39 round that is a, is meant to be a suppressed round. Yeah, wasn't it like 268 yeah, grain? 268 or 270 seven, something, right? yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah, It's a big it, bullet. It is a big bullet. It's fat. <laughs> it's fat. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it, a big fatty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cool. So tell us a little bit about uh, SGM Tactical. So we've been in business about 12 years. Uh, we broke on the market by making... Uh, Saiga and Vepper rifle and shotgun mags. Okay. That's their main core of business. We manufacture those uh, in Tennessee as well. And it just grew from there. We started making other uh, accessories to go along that line of products. Uh, when I was hired about six years ago, is to more transition us to a less of a niche market and more into a mainstream market. So um, we partnered with another factory in South Korea that actually does uh, all of Samsung's um, – TVs, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the uh, the injected molded back panels for all their LED TVs. Really? Okay. So we I'll just a, be a smart ass. No, so. no, you're absolutely correct. Okay. So, so we have a section of their warehouse, and we use their engineers, and they help design our Glock magazines. Nice. Our Glock compatible magazines. Compatible. Yeah. So uh, we have the standard capacity uh, Glock mags, and then the super capacity. 
And Super capacity being like a thirty-three round nine millimeter stick mag, the stick mag, a twenty-eight round uh, forty, and a twenty-six round forty-five. Okay, uh, so you're not doing any of the um, the drums or the anything. Drums, yeah. No, we're looking at it, um, but honestly, uh, for some reason, about two years ago, our name got slapped on a, another Korean product uh, that was a fifty-round Glock mag, and when you know, just to be quite honest, when the crap started falling apart, for some reason, our name was tied to it, and they kept contacting us for a warranty, and we're like, no, dude, we don't make that. All of our products have our name on it, and that product does not have our name on it. Right. So all the products we make have a lifetime warranty. Uh, it's pretty much, the only questions we'll ask, like on our Glock compatible mags, is, hey, what were you shooting it out of, and what was the issue? And we don't try to fix the magazines, we actually just replace them. So we just want that information for R&D and to, to go back and see if there's a quality control issue or if there's a design flaw or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're sort of transitioning in that. And then when I met uh, Jeff and Daryl, uh, our, our next progression was let's do something else that's uh, tied into Glock because, uh, you know, it seems like everyone has a Glock. Yeah. And uh, they're sort of like the AK of the pistol market. I mean, you right. can't break those things. Um, so... The Glock barrels are the newest product we're releasing, and then at SHOT, we'll probably release uh, the 25-round uh, Saga shotgun drum. Because, okay, uh, nice. A couple other companies are importing shotguns that take those magazines. Yeah. So uh, Now, the, the Glock mags, are those for all the different calibers, or are you just doing nine mils? We're doing nines, 40s, and 45s. Okay. Uh, and and we'll, good. we'll stretch out and do some others. We're talking about doing 10 millimeter. Um, I still think it's too small of a market, to be honest with you. So the 10? You think? Yeah, you know, I can't get anyone to give me numbers on how many guns are out there. Like Glock's not going to tell me, oh, we sold three million guns last last quarter. Uh, they might. Did you I ask mean, them? Yeah, I've asked a couple of people, and they're sort of like, oh, we don't know. They keep that stuff secret. Oh, okay. Right. So if I could find that out, I would be more than happy to make whatever mag uh, to fill that niche yeah. uh, that Glock's not going to do. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, it's not a high a, a market as, you know, for the, the 40s or the 9s. Right. Right, nines being, I'm sure the the most in demand. True, and, and that and that goes back to our Glock barrels. Uh, I'm glad you said that. We're doing a, and we'll release it next week probably a Glock 22, Glock 23 drop in replacement barrel that converts it to a, a nine millimeter. Okay, so you can use your Glock 17 mag or your Glock 19 mag depending on the uh, model you have. Yeah, uh, and then we'll be bundling our SGM now, these- mags with it. Uh, Gen 5 compatible? They should be Gen 1 through 5 compatible. Okay. Uh, we're going to test the fives out on the range today. Uh, when we Got get one time. right here. Nice. Just there happened to have one handy. Oh, we can drop it in and see. Let's drop it in and see. Let's see what happens. Obviously, we're not going to shoot it in here. I hope not. Um, we might. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to turn we'll this into honors. a shoot house. We're going to let uh, Daryl do the honors, breaking it down. Am I the only one that has an issue with Glocks? When you break it down, you have to squeeze the trigger. Is that just me, or is or is that like an industry thing? I don't know. I think it's sort of weird. The rest of the day? Oh, oh he's got a 19. To so make it hurt? Oh. Damn it. I'm sorry, what? This is a 19. We only brought the barrel for the 17. To the, uh, you have the barrel that uh, oh. left you yesterday? Um, yeah. That's yep. a 19 barrel, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, we can try that. Yeah. So, Marty, is it just me, or is it an industry thing that when you disassemble a Glock pulling the trigger is that just sort of counterintuitive is that just me well but that's how you do it I know it's sort of weird though isn't it <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah that's the way they've always done it though but you're supposed to clear it and make sure it's clear true you know true. So if you follow the proper procedures there should be no problem you're correct sir wait I've got hey, it somewhere I think hey that's a, a lot different looking barrel than uh than the Gen 4 yes that's what I was it's a new barrel it's a marksman barrel that's the Glock Marksman barrel. So it's not their poly... It doesn't... Oh, is it polyagonal? Or? Oh, so they actually crowned it. Very here's, interesting. Here's yours. Yeah. So ours is a, is a threaded barrel, so it's a little bit longer. All right. Yep, you're good. Looks like it's going to be good, Marty. Yep. Clear that last round. Hey, Marty. We'll pick yeah. that up for you. Uh, <laughs> I get screwed out of range again. Don't ever get to shoot. <laughs> I shot like maybe three times today. And it was our own Glock and barrel. Dude, I was like, I'm not going to shoot. 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 I'm not going to shoot.
All right, so you get it working? I want to try this one while we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, that's clear. All right, so we uh, we got the new barrel in. I'm going to put my headset back on. That sounds weird. So we have the um, tactical kinetics. The SGM TK barrel. Is it the SGM? Barrel. Okay, so it's the SGM TK barrel. Yeah. Um, in my new Gen 5 Glock. And uh, other than shooting, we cycled rounds through it. They cycled fine. Um, it seems to fit. There's no wiggle. Yeah. Um, slide works great. So we'll take it out, maybe shoot it later. He'll let us put maybe a couple of rounds to it just to see if it works or not. Yeah, shoot the crap out of with it. The, with the Gen 5, and then we'll prove it. And But we but we know that it works with Gen 4s, Gen 3s. Gen 2s. I've and Gen 2s? Two yeah, 2 through 4 I've done. 2 through 4, okay. Very good. And it's got the, the threaded barrel in there, so awesome. Yeah, and, and we'll actually have a non-threaded version as well. Okay, so you go either way with that, yeah. threaded yeah. or non-threaded. Um, why wouldn't you go with the threaded? You might as well, right? Might as well. Might as well. I bet it still fit my holster. Or, uh, yeah, my holster too a bit. Oh yeah, you got it. Is it open? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. It's fine. Very good. All right. So, so we'll yeah, take we'll take it out and shoot feedback. it a little bit later. Honest uh, feedback. Yep. That, that's all. Feelings. That's all you get from Lefty, man. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I pull no punches. <laughs> that's what we want to hear. Uh, and if it's gonna if it's gonna break, I'll break it. Hey, break it. Lifetime warranty. We'll yeah. give it. We'll give you another one. There you go. Just. Don't Lock keep breaking them. <laughs> just, just don't keep sending them back. Right? <laughs> you only get so that's many. A, that's a pretty good deal. Lifetime warranty on a free barrel. On a free barrel. Hey, that's fantastic. Hey, it doesn't matter if I give them, if I give them away or if I sell them. The warranty applies. There it is go. what it is. It there is what it is. Yeah. It doesn't matter from the first owner or second owner, right? That's true. That's true. I've replaced magazines for So people is there something that you that put on crazy. those other than I saw that you've got a logo on there? If that yeah. were to come off somehow, how would they know it was your barrel? Well, it's, it's laser etched in there deep enough that it shouldn't it come should off. It should come off. Uh, but there's a lot number on there so we can track if there's any kind of issues with that run of barrels. Yeah, you need to do a recall or just you know grab those back. We can do that. And then the model number and the caliber is on the side. That's basically it. There you go. So the logo is on the left side, so you can't see the logo. Mm -hmm. uh, it just displays well for retail, and the lot number's on the same side as well. Gotcha. So just the model and the caliber. And then the go right to your side. website and get these when they're available. They're not available yet, right? Uh, no, this is the first time they've been shown. They'll be available next week. They're a week they're old. They're a week old. Yeah, they're newborns. Okay. Uh, so uh, exclusive here at Talking Lead. Yes. And gentlemen. Yes. You're the yeah, first heard interview first. that we've done. Really? Yes. Well, yes. I'm honored. No, thank you. I Too bad this won't go out for a couple of weeks. That's all right. That's all right. We'll be at NHGW, and it'll be out. By it'll then. be it'll be like perfect timing. Yeah, then. exactly. And uh, and by then we'll, we'll you know we'll have the packaging done. We'll have the pricing set. We'll have everything ready to go. So very cool. Very cool. Now have you have you tested these as far as you know accuracy and done yeah. all the accuracy? You showed me some pictures. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. I've done some. I've done function testing throughout the process, and then I did um, you know just. Went to the range, 30, 30 feet, and uh, shot 10, 10 rounds, and they're pretty damn accurate. So I've got, yeah. I've got several You had shooters. good groups. I mean, I saw. Yeah, not suck years. at shooting. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a competitive shooter at all. Right. Uh, and especially with Glocks, the grip angle is sort of weird for me. The, I have to change the way I hold, and it always shoots well, you're high. A, you're a M&P guy? More of a 1911 guy, and I know the grip angle's the same. But for whatever reason, similar. They're, they're similar. Yeah. Uh, but for whatever reason, I have to sort of cant down because the Glock always shoots high if I hold yeah. the level. Yep. Um, so it messes me up a little bit. But I've got some competitive shooters and some other guys that I'm really good friends with. They're going to actually going to bench them and uh, get me accuracy numbers okay. on them. And I'm going to send them around to a bunch of different people uh, so right. we can get a good average. I've got a, a three gunner that you can send them oh, to. Love to. Send me his info. I'll send him a barrel. Okay. I mean... Uh, Casey Griggs, he's down in um, uh, Centerville, Tennessee. Okay, yeah. I'll send him ammo. Uh, I'll send him barrel. Okay. Uh, and I just want accurate, honest results. That's all I want. He'd be a good one for that. Okay, I'll, cool. I'll make the introductions. I appreciate it. You yeah, are the man. Absolutely. We did do a lot of testing on that. As we were manufacturing the barrel, we did testing for accuracy, and we had a pretty good shot um, out there with as we were testing. And he, he was... The groups are tight. This week? Yeah. No. Oh, at this, the, back in Knoxville? <coughs> Correct. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm looking at a picture now. Daryl is showing me a picture. 
And this is you shooting? Uh, no, this is uh, actually this was me shooting. This is steel ammo, brass ammo, aluminum ammo. Okay. Man, you tore that one up right there, son. That's a good one. The tight groups, man. Where are you at? Uh, what, five yards? 25 feet? Okay. Yeah, I, th- I shot mine at 30, and it's still pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they look, that looks pretty damn accurate right there to me. Very nice. Very good. So make sure you guys check out sdmtactical.com. For these Glock bears in a couple of weeks, or yes. maybe as you hear this, depending yes. on when I release the show, and then uh, of course our in, our guys can't buy anything from you guys. No, so. no. we're going to send them to. You're going to send them we're all. We're going to send them there. all to Kevin. Okay. <laughs> now, as you're as you're buying these barrels, you know what what are the things that you need? You need Ear Pro and Eye Pro, right? Correct. We happen to have an Eye Pro specialist here with us. I am here <laughs> today. We've got Mr. Hunter. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you again, Marty. Good to see you too, brother. So uh, you came to the show with some some new products. You've got some new. You got a new line of eyewear. We did, yeah. Um, if you're not familiar with Tactical RX, we're a custom lens manufacturer, and we make lenses for Wiley X and Oakley and Bole and any any other you know spy. Um, but we came up with our own line of eyewear because 25 years experience doing it. We know it needs to be done to make the prescriptions fit just right. So. Right, and, that, and that's something that you guys are doing that's unique, is that you're doing prescription eye pro. Exactly, exactly. You know, half the people out there need a prescription. Some of them wear contacts. Yeah, I just bought one today from you. Thank you. No, yeah, appreciate that. No, thank that. you. I've been needing. A you got a prescription pair? Yes. Yeah, I've had a eye injury, so yeah. Yeah, you got to. You know, you go to the range, and it's always eyes and ears, and. Uh, you look around, people are wearing regular glasses. Yeah. And that's not going to stop anything, you know. You have a malfunction or a ricochet. <laughs> yeah, it might yeah. slow it down, but it may- more than likely it's going to make it worse because it's going to probably just shatter and get into your eye. Right? Exactly, exactly, you know. And, th- and this is a quality custom product, so it's not cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than going to the hospital. Right. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few of those running around. Are. Yeah. are. I, was at this, I was at Lowe's the other day. And dude was walking in. He had a parrot on his shoulder. I've never seen that before. Did he, he have an eye patch as well? He yeah. didn't. He at least didn't. But he didn't have a ponytail. He, you know. Do you have a towel at least for the parrot to sit on, or is he just letting it go? Right it on was on his shoulder, as far as I could tell. I mean, he's a little. He's like he was like you know five feet tall, a little short dude. Oh wow. Had a long gray beard, but he had this multicolored parrot. I mean, it was and it was a little real one too. Oh wow. Lowe's. Lowe's. <laughs> He's going to Lowe's. People of Lowe's. I may have been Walmart, website. but it was at Lowe's. I was at Lowe's. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I thought I'd throw that out there. Sure. So, so, so we're yeah. talking iPro. <laughs> iPro on parrots. Exactly. Uh, so we do have our, our own line now. We've got uh, five models. You can wear them in non-prescription. Right. Uh, they're great sunglasses. Which is the, it's the way I wear them. Yeah. So I wear yeah. contacts. And, and you've been wearing them for a couple years now. Yeah, I got the, a year and a half ago, I got the first pair, and I'm still rocking them, man. Cool, yeah, cool. I love them. So, they, you know, they're great regular sunglasses. I wear them just as sunglasses, yeah. yeah. Just regular old sunglasses. Yeah, great regular sunglasses or safety glasses. Um, but if you need that option where you need the prescription, that's what we do. Yeah. And uh, we, we make all kinds of different lenses, you know, from clear to polarized to transitions to change dark and light. Uh, a lot of the older shooters, they, they can't see their front sights anymore. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're, they're looking through their bifocals. And when you do that, you're raising your chin up. Well, now your shoulder's moving, and it right. takes a long time to get there. Uh, That's so we, true. So we made a lens called the Almost Lens. The Almost and, Lens. Yeah, the Almost Lens. So because so, it's, it's, it's almost <laughs> your reading power, but it's adjusted so it's your front sight power. So uh, you're wearing the, the these professors? Are, yeah, actually, uh, these, these, these guys are, are all wearing my glasses. Yes. Yeah, the whole table's wearing my glasses. Wait, mine's in the car. I'm sorry. <laughs> these are the mad oh. scientists. And they look like it. You know, and for the uh, the barrel geek, that's uh, Ooh. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you, have, you oh guys will just be labeled as barrel geeks. You got now. you got to change to the barrel yeah. guys. The barrel shir- geek guys. We need new shirts. The barrel geek guys. No, no more shirts. <laughs> <That's such> a, <laughs> getting shirts made is a fiasco. The day before the show. Yeah, right. It's literally the day before the show. Hey, what size shirt you wear? And I'm like, awesome. really? We're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> that's pretty amazing, though. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so you've got so, you, you showed me your line. You got five. Yeah, we have five models. Five uh, models? You can get them with either a smoke lens or a clear lens. Yep. And um, I'm wearing the 
SOBs. Yep. Now you're telling me there's a, there's a story behind how you came up with the name of. Uh, yeah, yeah. My uh, my 22 year old son, the lab manager, he helped us name him this time. <laughs> so you got and, a, uh, SOB. So, 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 any other ones? The Mofo. The Mofo. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And uh, you, you've got the Mountain Falcons over there. Ooh, that's what I bought today, I believe. Uh-huh. And that's that's our original model. We didn't have a line before. We just had one. That's the one I've got. Yeah. 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 Great, great set of glasses. Yeah. Yeah, the lenses come out on those, right? You, yeah, you can interchange lenses. them. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. And then you're wearing a mad scientist. So. Yeah. The mad scientist. The mad yeah. scientist. They're like it's, real it's thick you. black. Um, uh, they're kind of like the birth control glasses. We kind of like a, Harry the Carey. The, the glasses Harry Carey wore. <laughs> right, right. I walk in and out of a manufacturing plant every day, so I want something to protect my eyes when I'm looking in a machine. So Absolutely. Because yeah, pirates don't run machines either. <laughs> Very few, yeah. Harry Carey glasses. And then you've got, what What the other ones? Uh, the Little Bear. The Little Bear. Yeah, which is a... A little more of a real thin wrap around. Yeah. Well, I didn't see those. Yeah. I didn't see those. I'll have to go. Look the little bear. You know, when we're trying them on you guys, we want to get the best fit. Right, so. right. Yeah. Very good. Is that five? Yeah, that was all of them. That was all of them? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. And they go to your website and yep. check these out. It's uh, tacticalx. TacticalRx.com. TacticalRx.com. And then uh, that almost lens we were talking about a minute ago, we call it the yeah. almost lens because it's uh, it's not a reading lens. It's mm-hmm. a, almost a reading lens. But it's we, almost a reading lens. We adjust it for your front sight. And okay. then when we put it instead of on the bottom, we put it on the top. So it's a lot quicker target and sight acquisition. Nice. So instead of wasting your time raising your chin up to try to find that bifocal and get everything lined up, you just yeah. dip your chin and boom, your sights are there again. There you go. Very so, nice. For those guys that can't see their sites. Now, how do, they, how do they get the prescriptions? They just send you what their prescription is? and Yeah, yeah. They can send a prescription, an email, fax, um, read it to us on the phone. We'll read it back to you. Um, if you can see it. <laughs> yeah, if you can see it, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, and everybody's got a different size head. So the way we usually do it, you call up and we talk to you and we send you like a sample pack. So you, you buy three of them. If you don't want them, we just refund your money. Um, but when you get three, then you pick out the favorite one you want. And then we have you mark them up so we know where the measurements are. We gotcha. have detailed instructions. You send them back. And fully custom, so it takes about three weeks to get them. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not too bad. No. no. Not bad. And you do all over the world? Do you do these all over the yeah, world? Oh, yeah. we got them everywhere. Okay. We've got... Uh, uh, even in Antarctica, we've got these things. In Antarctica. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah, all seven continents, our glasses are on. Very nice. So, hey, hey remind me uh, when I uh, purchased those from you, there was something else that I had to give you guys other than the prescription. Oh, yeah, the yeah, pupillary distance. That's it, the Who? PD. Yes. Uh, pupillary distance, yeah. That sounds dirty. What it, is it? It does. It's just the distance between your eyes and millimeters. Um, like this way? Yeah. yeah. How far apart your eyes are from your nose. Exactly. Huh? That way we can get the optics lined up where they need to be. Is, is that where when you go into the optometrist, they take the dot or whatever, the yes. Sharpie and mark on the lens? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Right. Um, a lot of times they don't want to give them out because there's so many places on the internet selling glasses for 25 bucks that right. are made wrong and you won't be able to see out of them. They fall apart in a week, but right. that's why they don't want to give them out. If you tell them you're getting some custom tactical glasses, since they don't make them most likely, they right. usually give you the PD for that. Okay. So, you know, very cool. I can attest to the product. I mean, I'll be from someone that has had a massive eye injury that almost lost an eye. Safety glasses are very important, especially in shooting sports. Yes. And, yes. And let me Is that you. how you injured your eye? No. Okay. Uh, it was. It's a boring story, but it was like <laughs> a nine months recovery. I had a, uh, you know, the tiger wire that holds uh, insulation up yeah. and uh, crawl spaces. Yeah. I was pulling insulation out because I thought I had a leak, oh. and it literally went straight into my eye. Oh, I had to pull it out. man. So I had a retina damage. I have an interocular lens implant. Wow. Uh, and it's just, it's brutal. Yep. Uh, and anyone that's suffered anything like that is, you know, you start having glaucoma, you start having all kinds of issues with your eye. Yeah, and the, the thing is, you know, we get a lot of people who have eye injuries that come to us for safety glasses. Because yes. after it happens, like the doctor says, I need to protect my eye. Yes. Well, <laughs> what was we your just, first clue, dude? We just yeah. started yeah. there. Yeah. Hey, dummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for somebody with an eye injury, the, what you're doing is awesome, and the product's really great. Yeah, thank uh, you. And the ordering process was super simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think it's great. Yeah, I'll, we, I'll we, we got a great staff, too, to take care of you. Yeah. Very cool. 
All right, guys, we uh, got another uh, interview lined up here, so thank you for taking the time. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank you for the barrel. Oh, of course. Of I'll course. definitely give you some uh, good feedback on that. And, uh, I'll send try, you some mags, too. Let's try to hook up. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Next time you're we're so close. Yeah, we we're so close to each other. We should go shoot, do whatever. Yeah. Have next dinner, time you're have down in Nashville whatever. area, next time I'm up that way, we'll, yeah. Yeah. Give we'll us all a call. get together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We'd love to have you get over a to tour, the shop. Get a tour of the shop, maybe. Maybe we can do the show from the shop. Our sister company imports surplus uh, firearms from uh, Israel. So if you're ever looking for like Who's an FN that? high power, uh, Mach 1 Arsenal. Okay. Uh, so if you're ever looking for an FN high power or Jericho or anything like that, the surplus that's been, that's seen some stuff. Right. Next time you're down, we'll tour the facility, pick out whatever gun you want. Okay. We'll make it happen. Are you guys going up to Georgia after this? No, I'm no, going to go back. I'm, All right, we man. got marketing stuff to do for the barrels. Got so. you. Okay. All right, guys, we will be back with more interviews from the Big Three East. Thank you very much. Word. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I want to get a picture uh, right. with everybody around. Right. All right, lead heads, that wraps up another episode of the Talking Lead podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed that lineup that we had for you this week. And uh, pay attention because, like I said at the beginning of the show, we're going to be cranking out uh, three to four more episodes before the end of the month. So you guys be watching your feeds, whether it's from iTunes, iHeartRadio. Uh, wherever that may be, YouTube, uh, check our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram. And if you guys haven't subscribed on those yet or liked us on those, please do that and then leave us some feedback on those podcasting networks that you download us from. We greatly appreciate that, and that helps us in the rankings and ratings as well. As you guys are out and about this Christmas season, I know a lot of you are going to be traveling Please be aware and alert of your surroundings. Uh, This is a very busy and hectic time of year, and we want you guys to be safe out there. So enjoy the holiday season, enjoy Christmas, enjoy the new year, but do it safe, responsibly, and like I said, be alert and aware of your surroundings. Big thanks to all the companies that make this show possible. Right on USA, the official optics of Talking Lead. Check them out at ritonusa.com, right on USA. Modern Spartan Systems, modernspartansystems.com. Frontier Tactical, check them out at frontiertactical.com. Glock, the official carry of Talking Lead. us.glock.com. VanQuest Gear, check them out at vanquest.com. They're cranking out the high-quality backpacks and bags and uh, organizers. Check them out, VanQuest.com. X-Steel Targets, XSteelTargets.com. America's number one AR-500 steel target manufacturer. Check them out at XSteelTargets.com. High Threat Concealment. Check them out at HighThreatConcealment.com. If you guys would, if you have the uh, opportunity, the ability to help support Awesome organizations like Sheepdog Impact Assistance, sheepdogia.org. They just did a holiday outreach where they organized Christmas gifts for more than 200 military, law enforcement, fire, and rescue families in need. Uh, If you guys still want to donate to that, I'm sure they will take donations for that. Just uh, go to sheepdogia.org and uh, they will give you instructions on what you need to do there. Uh, And then, of course, their continuing missions that they put together for disaster recovery throughout our nation, organizing disaster recovery teams, getting the missions together to go out there. And if you've got certain special expertise, uh, you can go there if you want to donate uh, money, um, gift cards, things like that. They, They could definitely use those, but if you've got a certain expertise get in touch with them they may be able to use you so tune in again for the next episode of the talking lead podcast like i said we're going to have at least three to four more this month so you guys be paying attention and be ready for the next episode until then as always lead heads keep your loved ones close and your firearms closer